Hello, everyone. It's another beautiful day here in Southern California. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous day. Happy Fourth of July, everyone. Happy holidays. It's going to be a lovely time. We are going to do the first set of mods to these headphones. These are the AKG K340s. And in my opinion, they're some of the most moddable headphones ever made. And for today's mods, we're going to be replacing the pads with different pads, as well as demonstrating how to change the elastics. This is the easiest mod that you can do to the headphone, and that's why I decided that I wanted to go with that first. And the first thing that I'm going to show off is replacing the pads with these right here. I got these off of eBay for about 28 bucks. These are sheepskin leather ear pads filled with memory foam. And they are very nice. I never realized how, how soft sheepskin leather pads were until I got these. And these fit onto these pretty well, but I'll talk a little bit more about what it's like to use these pads with these headphones. But first, let's take the ear pads off. Taking the ear pads off the AKG K340s is actually very simple. You just pull it off like that. The headphones themselves, they're a little bit curved. You can kind of see the curvature on the sides. So there's a little lip to it. I was a little bit worried with these pads that they weren't going to fit on. I was going to have to struggle to stretch these uh, parts right here. But it's actually quite stretchy, so it, it slides on a lot easier than I thought it would. I'm going to pause the video so that way I can actually do it, because I can't really do it with one hand. And there we go. Look at how... Just, just look at that. I love the look of really plush ear pads on headphones. These... When I think of the website Discogs or WattCD, this is the image of a headphone that I have in my head. Just these really big DJ looking cans with these absolutely plush ear pads. And these things are really, really plush. I believe they're 35 millimeters thick, which is one of the problems I have with these pads in particular. These pads are too thin. These are, I think, 18 millimeters. And the problem with this is that the ear presses against the inner baffle plate. I mentioned how that's what irritates uh, my ears in the previous video. But with these pads, now I just feel it's a little bit too thick because these don't bend too far. And I think that one of the issues that I was having with it is that the sound escapes out the bottom of the cup right here. And that's an issue whenever I want to listen to music because I feel like I'm always trying to readjust the ear pad onto my head in order to make it fit properly. One of the things I do like though is that the comfort of the headphones is now improved significantly. These are so, so comfortable to listen to. When they sit perfect and they create a perfect seal on my head, the sound of the music I think is improved greatly because now it's able to create just a little bit wider of a sound uh, soundscape and the base of it, because these are really thick leather, is improved just a little tiny bit because now there's a lot more room for it to just reverberate in. Another thing that I take issue with is the fact that these pads might be just, just a little bit too wide. The pad diameter that this has is 110 millimeters. And I got that measurement based off measuring these, but I think 105 might be a little bit better. The reason why I say that is because they kind of sag over the lip just a tiny bit. Like they don't, they don't fit tight. They, they're just a little bit loose. And I think that looseness is, is what contributes to the sound escaping out the bottom sometimes. Going back to another thing that I like about it, these have sound, uh, sound transparent or sound transparent acoustic fabric uh, built into it. There's another mod that I'm going to be doing later on that I'm going to be very happy to show off that benefits from having this fabric right here because it means that your ear isn't going to be touching the inner Electra driver anymore but what i like about this fabric is that it's very comfortable it feels very nice on the ear now that we fix that we can move on to the last thing this is the original elastic that came in the headphone you notice that there's a little plastic piece right here for a lot of people they seem to think that they need to get something akin to what this piece looks like but you really don't need it you just need a elastic that's thick enough and strong enough to be able to use with these headphones in the case of this elastic you'll notice that the stretchiness is just not there anymore it's it's definitely has some stretch to it but or not stretch but there's some pull back on it but it stretches too far out there's just not enough strength left in it so i needed to replace them and all i did was i asked my sister 
if she had any more scrunchies. I, I don't think these are called scrunchies, right? They're called something else. I got I got told off for that one day, and I thought that was really funny. To me, they're all just kind of scrunchies. I know there's like a distinction, but it's a it's a scrunchie pretty much to me. But anyway, I'm going to open these up. I'm going to show you how to open up. The first thing you want to do, I got like this screwdriver here. It's got a very fine tip. I want to remove this screw right here on the uh, front panel. I'm going to pause the video while I do that. All right, there is the screw right there. So let's take this off. It's a little bit tricky to take it off and on sometimes. Let me down right there. You see a lot of the cotton stuffing that I shoved into there. So the elastics loop around right here. So, so long as you have an elastic that fits into that gap, you should be fine. Next, after you got that open, the reason why I wanted to start with this is just because it's the easiest one to take off. I prefer to take off the right ear cuff for this video because there's one less wire to have to work with. The headphone wire is attached to the left cup, so working with the right cup is just easier for me. The next thing you need to do is open up this thing right here, which is where the steel bands are connected to. The way to do that, let me zoom in. There's a little screw right there on the back on the inner part of the headphone. We just have to unscrew that and it'll be coming right off. Let me pause the Okay, so now it's off and you can see it's already starting to come apart. You can kind of get a feel for how it's supposed to be assembled all together. Now we get a look at what it's supposed to look like on the inside. You can see it just comes up like that. This part right here, if we take a look at this piece, there we go. So there's a little plastic piece right here that when we look at it on the inside, it's supposed to hook around it like that. So whenever this slides up, that's how we get the tension in the headphone. One of the things I was debating was whether or not I wanted to issue the elastic and just use some type of permanent string in order to make it so that way it doesn't stretch at all. I think that might fix one of the problems that I was having with the sagging and with the air or with the sound coming out from the bottom of the head cup. But that will be an experimentation for another day. There's a few more mods I want to do before I even get into any of the other more uh, interesting experiments. But with regards to putting in the new elastic, let me show you what the old elastic looked like in there. The old elastic, it would just be inside this little hole here, and then you put it on like that, and it would just sit inside the ear cup like this, like that. So it's the same principle. This little plastic piece isn't really necessary when the bend in the elastic can do the exact same thing. So if you can get something that's thick enough and strong enough, anything would really do. So don't don't try and make something that's overly complicated when it doesn't need to be. That's one of the things I find interesting about this design here, is that it's a it really is an overcomplication of a simple thing to do. There was no reason to put this plastic piece at the very tail end of the headphone. All you really needed was just a simple elastic. Now once you do that, all you need to do is you get this piece. I want to start with this piece first because I want to we look at the other side. When you put the headphone back together, I want to make sure that the elastic loops around that little dot right there, just like that. And then once that's in place, then I can focus on getting this piece on. And when I'm putting this piece on, I also want to make sure that it aligns with the hole on the headband, just so when everything comes together, let me see if I can do this with one hand. It's probably going to be very, very difficult. It's supposed to go together kind of like that. So the big hole is supposed to line up with the little hole that you loop the elastic around. And then that hole is supposed to line up with that. And then after you, you just sandwich it all together and then you screw it up and then you get to go. I, I, I don't think I can do this with one hand. So I'm going to pause the video again just so I can put it back together. Everything's back together again. It looks beautiful. One last comment. I think, with considering the thickness of these pads, that whenever I wear these headphones, I look ridiculous. Like, I, I look really, really funny because your head just becomes so wide whenever you're wearing these things. Because in order for these headphones to hit onto your head, they need to be stretched out to like this wide. And I just think I look hilarious. I think it just looks so funny. I'll take a photo of myself and post it uh, while I'm recording or 
while I'm editing this video. I just think it looks hilarious. But anyway, that's, that's all the mods that I have for you today. The next mods are going to be a little bit more interesting than these, and they're going to be a little bit more complicated. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you all have a great day.